Hey everyone, welcome to Archland, and we're here to review Zelvinath. Uh, before you guys uh, decide on if you're gonna be pulling for her or not, let's review her kit first and let's see if she is worth your pulls. Okay, so let's move on to her banner first. So her banner is here. He, here are her skills or traits that you can check out. So Zelvinath is a assassin. She's a dark element, which makes her um, not vulnerable to the three primary elements, which is green, red, and blue. So she's only going to be um, uh, vulnerable to light. So take note of that, guys, if you decide on an element. But in terms of her skill, if you've if you've seen actually my thumbnail, it's an uh, she's I describe her as an AOE assassin. Okay, why is that? Well, we'll go to the demo later and see how her skills are used. Particularly, she has a lot of debuffs actually, and also what I see in her skills, she could be a mage killer because she adds. Um, additional damage to uh, mages. Let's go over her traits. So these are a few that are being equipped. So this one is seal skill. Passives are sealed. This one uh, gives additional damage to, to mages. This one is also a fixed damage to within within the vicinity of fewer enemies uh, translation is a bit off so let's move to her trade so this one is related to a debuff so the theme for her is still a debuff so this one is armor shred so um, lowers down um, physical defense uh, this one is attacking a single enemy Again, the translation is a bit off because uh, every time you move a car is indicated here. Really funny. This one is the one that uh, deals additional damage to mages. And these are her um, additional bonuses if you have these heroes. This one is um, fixed damage to all. To all um, enemies in we want physical attack, amount of damage, blah, blah, blah. And this one is also additional um, uh, physical attack and physical defense plus tens. So traditionally, she's an assassin, but she has a lot in her kit. She really has more AOE than most of um, most of the assassins that we have, except for I think Michael. And let's move on to her demo guys and see how she's being used. Okay, so for her hero experience, so take note again that she is an assassin. You need to evade and deal damage as much as possible. So the goal here is to take out all of these mages and hop through these three. I know you are already um, surrounded. So this one, you will use this against uh, the mages there to deal uh, plus 20% damage. And this one... You're going to have to skip these three in order to attack this. So she has nice movement. She is flying, by the way, so which is a huge plus for an assassin. And she really, really looks cool with that spear. So let's just confirm this and uh, take uh, take care of that one. So this battle is in fast forward. Let me just uh, do this. A Let's move here. So again, she's, she flies, and um, this is what I mean by the AoE damage. If there are a lot of mages clustered, then she is really a mage killer at this point. So let's use that beautiful ultimate that she has. There you go. So that is it. That is how you use her. Um, she's quite unique again in terms of um, in terms of the the usual archetype for assassins. Um, she doesn't fit the mold, and uh, uh, of course she's going to be nimble. She's going to be fragile, but she is she is flying. She can you know go around um, go around uh, what they call this uh, enemies. 
and she can pinpoint her targets. Just be careful on how to use her. So that is it, guys. So, so far for her uh, Zelvinath, um, if you guys are still looking for an assassin, if you don't have... Um, if you don't have any of our assassins and if you're starting the game, she is actually a nice one to have. Um, probably, I would say that top three assassins in the game right now. Um, and with, uh, with Darkness Element, I don't think you could go wrong with her. It's just a preference whether you're going with Zelbinath or YGG. So either you're going after an assassin or a mage. So... Again, if you're going after an assassin, please make sure that she will, you know, she you, you will use her frequently and you will use her because you don't have any better assassin alternatives right now in your roster. But if you have um, one or two assassins already that you're using, I believe that Zelvinath is not really for you because, again... Um, assassins are really meant for manual, not really for auto. But again, it, it really depends on preference at the end of the day. So that is it. So if you're asking me if she's a must pull, um, no, not really. Especially if you have assassins in your in your you know in your roster already. But again, if you if you dig how she looks, if you like how she's being played, and she is a bat and a cat, I think mixed in one. So again, guys, be my guest. So that is it. Um, I'm gonna be reviewing YGG so that you also have another comparison in terms of review for both characters that have dropped recently so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here